Hey guys, this is John with uh, TacticalGearhead.com. Um, this video is in response to uh, Cody's video over at Wrangler Barn about um, getting prepared, and, and, and uh, that made me think about kind of like disaster preparedness and, and what you can do to get, you know, trained and, and, and you know, get prepared for disasters. Um, even, you know, natural disasters or man-made ones or something like that. So. I figure, you know what, I, I'll take a field trip to my uh, local Red Cross chapter and, and see uh, some of the things that they have and, and maybe uh, talk to somebody over there. So um, this will be the, uh, the uh, trip over to my uh, Red Cross chapter. All right. Hi, I'm Holly Duncan. I'm with the American Red Cross. Welcome to the Red Cross chapter here in Decatur, Illinois. And I'd like to uh, start off by showing you a few of our emergency response vehicles. This one we're standing in back of right now is the ERV, the emergency response vehicle. We use that for a number of reasons. Um, we respond to local and national emergencies in it. For instance, locally, if we had a fire, this is the vehicle we would respond to to assist families. Um, uh, nationally, it will respond to uh, hurricanes, earthquakes, um, other national disasters that might occur, whether they're natural or man-made. Let's take a look inside. Gonna get up? Come on up. All right. Take a look around. We keep it stockpiled. Okay. We'll do some mass feeding out of here. Um, or basically feed the uh, firefighters and uh, make sure they're at least have a little bit of comfort while they're out working. Um, we also, uh, like as I stated, respond to the um, local house fires and um, anything like that. And what's this uh, seat over here? This is our jump seat. We can take uh, um, information from here. We can also uh, do some feeding from the vehicle straight from this position. Mm -hmm. um, and that way there's not that many people running in and out of the vehicle. We can just pass it right out the window. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Yeah. And so these are like the food storage containers and food beverage. Food storage and... containers. Um, we at the Red Cross do appreciate the uh, family in general. So not only do we have the food, the comfort foods, the hot chocolates, and the coffee, we also like to make sure we've got stuff for the kids. So we'll keep uh, comfort toys up here. It's no nothing worse than when a child loses its favorite toy. At least we can start them off with new ones. Oh, so that's like Walt Disney. Did, did Walt Disney, like, donate those? Uh, actually, I believe we've gotten quite a few donations from... Uh, um, private sector locals, okay. which are always appreciated. Cool. Um, it's uh, the uh, individual that keeps us going and why we're here. All right. Well, let's uh, take a look. Careful stepping at... down. All right. And let's take a nice little look around here. All right. <laughs> kind of looks like an ambulance, doesn't it? Yes, it does, but we don't have the lights and sirens, but what we do is emergency response, and uh, is considered emergency response. Um, after all, any assistance that we render to any family member or any individual is considered free assistance to them to help them get back on their feet and get them going, um, no matter what the size of the disaster. Um, it's an emergency no matter what, so we do respond to it. Okay, well, that's neat. That's a cool vehicle. And what about this beast over here? That's uh, fairly beast, a big one. Yeah. This, hey, this vehicle is our FARB. It's our first aid um, emergency response vehicle. Um, it is basically here for any type of medical assistance. We do keep a, a uh, volunteer staff of medical personnel to help out. Um, a lot of times you'll see this at celebrations. You'll see this at festivals. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, sit there in assistance in case there are emergencies that we can handle. Um, let's take a look inside of it if you'd like. All right, well, that's pretty big. Now, does every Red Cross chapter have this, or just kind of unique to this chapter? I think this one's unique to us, isn't yeah, it? Well, maybe the one and only, huh? It's yeah, kind of cool. Hope so. It's like, uh, take a look inside here. Got some seats here, I see. She is rather comfortable and well stocked. We do, uh, um, run our command center off of here. Mm -hmm. um, and our medical personnel do one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews with anybody who may be in need of medical assistance. Okay. And uh, we do keep our in, our personnel very well trained. 
um, and they're an excellent team to work with. Okay. Well, what's back here then? Back here. <laughs> Come on in. This is our private quarters for when we're in for the long hauls. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a little messy right now. Yeah, it's a little dark in here too. A little too. messy. Didn't bring my flashlight, so. But it is our private quarters. Sometimes we are on scenes for a mm -hmm. long time. And this not only has to double as our workspace, but our home, away from home. Okay, well that that's very neat. Yeah, this thing kind of looks like the space shuttle. A space shuttle? Yeah. Could you imagine seeing this on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's neat. I'm sure somewhere along the way. Well, thank you, Holly, for that. You're welcome. Anytime, you're welcome to come by the Red Cross chapter, and I'll be happy to give anybody a tour. All right. Thank you.